Hello folks, here's Flat Cap and Lady Fire and this is gonna be episode one since the other one was the pilot for cooking with Flat Cap and Lady Fire. And I'm gonna attempt to cook something for you guys. Now that it's a football season and we have all the sports, we have something called the ring, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm gonna attempt, I'm not much of a cook and you guys will see that, but because I have such a great chef, that's gonna help me. I think it's gonna turn out all right. This is where the magic's gonna happen. Most so, of it. most of it, okay? <laughs> and we will get it going and we'll be back in a little bit. We'll give you the ingredients first, all right? And the ingredients that we are going to be needing for uh, the ring will be one onion, medium cheddar cheese shredded, original taco seasoning mix, two cans of croissant, one pound of ground beef, and layer dip. All right guys, so here we are ready to cook this ring and uh, I'm ready. We'll see how it goes. Lady Fire is gonna guide me, so good luck to me. All right, so what am I doing first? Tell me. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna preheat your um, your skillet. Okay. And you're going to use two tablespoons. Uh, I'm using vegetable oil. Okay. You can use whatever you want. You can go ahead and put that So here. we're gonna put two tablespoons of vegetable oil in mm -hmm. here. All right, this is about medium high. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And we use, actually we cut out the onion because it's a whole onion chopped up. So this we're just gonna Put, put that in there so and we're gonna cook it for at least two minutes. This is the whole onion chopped up. Let's see. Do I throw it from high or? Oh, uh, Lord. I would recommend low. Oh, good Lord. Wait a second. It jumps. <laughs> yeah, let me help you. I'm gonna lower the heat. Yes. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. All right. Do I spread it out? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Two minutes. So we're spreading out for two minutes. All right, so how do we know? We're gonna put it we'll in here? Okay. We're gonna lower it a little bit. So we're lowering it to about a four on that dial there. Medium low, so it won't spread it. Okay, do I need to keep stirring it or yes. just leave it alone? No. Okay, mm -hmm. stir it up. So it will cook evenly. All right. Cooking the onion. Mm, that smells good. All right. All right, so it's getting low, it's getting lower, it's a little bit on the temperature. We're going to put it back, back on the medium, okay? So when it stops making that noise, we, we, we raise the temperature. Yeah. That scary noise I did at the beginning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're good. All right, you guys do what I did good and don't do what I don't do good. So it doesn't turn out bad for you guys. Yeah, one more minute. One more minute, okay. Keep staring. Keep staring. Uh -huh. A little more flavor to it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, two minutes is up. All right. So now we need to put the one pound of ground beef, and we're just gonna brown it. Okay. So do I? Just put it in. Don't leave me. Do I? Do I dump this whole thing in here? Put it all in. All in. Okay. Is, is it gonna do like the other one that's gonna scream really loud? No. No. Not as bad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now you're gonna break it. Break it. Help do it. All right. Just make sure you break it. All, All right. right. So I'm breaking this thing. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Hopefully you see what I'm doing here. Do I put like the onion? Like, oh yeah, mix you can it mix it all together. Right. The point of it is just to mix it together and to cook uh, the meat. 
to brown this. And by the way, if you would prefer to have it a little bit of a more healthy side, okay. you can substitute the ground beef and do turkey instead. Oh, all right. Now, how long are we doing this part? Until it's, uh, it's not red anymore. All right. So we're gonna, and we keep it at medium high. Correct. All right. Are you having wine over there while I'm cooking here? No. <laughs> yes. You actually don't have to season it with salt and pepper or anything at all because your seasoning is going to come from the taco seasoning mix. All right, so no seasoning. We just put it as it was on the onion. Mm -hmm. All right, so far it's easy. Onion and the ground beef. That's it. I'm going to raise the temperature a little bit. All right, so we're going to a six here on the stove. All right, so after four or five minutes, took a little break. It's now brown, you see it? All right. And now we're gonna add the taco seasoning, right? So we're gonna use this and two thirds of a cup of water. Is that right? Am I turning that right? Do yes, I need to take just it out? Remove that out of the heat and turn this off. First. All right. So we take that out of the heat. Okay. And do your mixture. All right. We open the package. Throw it in here. Are we doing one package or two? Just one. Just one. And this is two thirds of a cup. I already pre-measured it. We're just gonna put it in there and mix it all together. Am I using this whisk? All right, we mix it. Put it back in the heat. All right, we're putting it back in the heat. We're still at medium heat. I'll put it back on. So it and took, you can go ahead and put it on. All right, so to recap, it took about four minutes to get the, the meat to be brown. All right, now we're gonna pour this on. Probably a minute. Another until, minute. until it thickens up, actually. Un, un, until what part thickens up? The sauce. The sauce, okay. All right, so another minute here. I think you got it. Let's see, can you, can you let it go? Uh-oh. Technical difficulties. The cook is learning. The camerographer is learning. <laughs> all right this is looking good all right so i fixed the technical difficulty so now the sauce is thickened i lowered it to two there and you see well let me woo, that's what it looks like all right so now what what are we gonna do next so it now needs to cool off so we're gonna turn this off and okay. we're just gonna um, take it out of the heat okay i'll take it out of the heat all right and what are we doing? You were supposed to put it here. Oh, and we're gonna, <laughs> so it's right the we're gonna pour it in here, okay? Yeah, so we're just gonna wait until it's completely cold. Pour the whole thing in here. Go ahead All right. and pour the whole thing in. Here we go. All right. Ooh, we don't know that part. So how long do we let it? Sit here. It has to uh, be completely uh, full of disease steam, so it's super hot. Okay. So it's going to take a while, and after that, I will put it back in the fridge mm -hmm. so that it's completely cold. Because when you are going to put it together, you don't want that to cool uh, to cook the croissant. So okay. it has to be cold. All right. So we're going to let it cool off for a little bit. And I lost my lighter and my tamper. I think I stole them. <laughs> she stole my lighter and my <laughs> tamper. So while I wait, I was enjoying here, for anybody that's interested, my autumn evening, we're starting this fall already. And this little pipe I got from WPC, the Walker Pipe Company. If you guys haven't seen his uh, pipe, uh, this one was like $25. So definitely worth the money. And I'll put the link down below so you can enjoy one if you are interested in getting, that was, um, it used to be low and smoke. Um, Professor Walker.
All right. So we're letting that cool off. You're having your wine. I'm having my pipe. We'll be back with the next part. Okay, so we have this ready. Uh, we're gonna put the, the layer dip in the middle so that we can shape it around it, okay? And I have made an executive decision. And for this part, she's gonna do it because I think that I'm really gonna mess it up. So go ahead and show them what's next. Okay, so we're going to open one of the containers for the croissants. And Right. And the reason why I'm using the layer dip is because we're going to put this at the very end, very uh, in the center of it, so that way it has that shape already. So that's why we're putting this in there for now. Oh, that didn't work well. Mm -mm, I'm not doing that. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm going to do more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, whatever. that's the part I'm afraid of. You're afraid of the pop. Oh, they can't see it. Bring it over here. There you go. I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this, but that's what I do. All right, so there she snips go. the thing and opens it up. I do one at a time because I want my dough to be as cold as possible. Because it, no, it, gets, it becomes very elastic and it's difficult to manage. So you got you got that thing right out of the freezer, right within. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fri refrigerator. Not refrigerator. The freezer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna open it, and it's not cooperating. There we go. There we are. Yeah, that's the part I know I can't do. So I'm gonna open it right, pretty fast. So it looks like little triangles. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I just go around the layer dip, and that makes my circle, because that's what I'm reading. So I'm gonna do like, how would you say it? North, south, and east, and west. Okay, so you go four directions, okay. Mm -hmm. So I do that to begin with. And one I'm just on the like, top, one on the bottom, one on the left, one on the right. package. You have to work fast when it comes with this, uh, when it comes to this dough. So why do you have to work fast? Because it, it starts melting or getting really gooey. Oh, okay. And it's harder to manage. So just quickly separate them and quickly As just fast as you can. Okay. That's why I'm having her do this part. It actually comes up pretty easy. Yeah, it is. It's already cut up for you. All right. So now that I already used up the first jar, now I'm gonna go get my second one. But I need to make sure. All right. But it was still cold, so it would be easier to manage. All right. So we're gonna do the second one. So it's looking like that. Good. All right, go ahead. Like a star. You ready for the knife again? I'm ready for that. That was the wrong way to catch to get the knife because you're supposed to do it. Yeah, that's that's why I'm not the cook. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What she does is she slowly until that thing just kind of pops up. All right. Okay. Now, would you say you use the both full cans on this or, or no? All of it. All of it. Okay. All of it. And you just keep working around it.
So you're just trying to fill every little empty space in there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like a sun, actually. I think I'm gonna give him an aerial view. From the air? Yeah, so right. you work this out. All right, go ahead. Piece. That's the last piece. See why you have to do this super fast? It's just, it's really soft. Okay, so now I'm going to start mushing it together. Okay, why do we mush it together? What's that for? We say that? you take the sticks together. Okay. So you can remove the layer dip. Uh -huh. See the circle? All right. You have a circle. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to start putting the meat on top. Yeah, pretty soon we'll put the meat on top after I finish putting all this. There you go. All right. So since the meat is uh, cooler now, we can start putting it, actually putting it right here. Okay. All around. So we cool the meat for about 15 minutes and then I can, you can put it in the refrigerator to, so it could be faster. We have the oven going here at 350, preheated so that it's ready. And we're gonna just work it around it. So you're all gonna get big spoonfuls. And you're gonna work your way around that. I'm glad you're doing this part for sure. Me too. All right. So about a spoonful every time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of working. It's a bit messy, but it is so good in the end. We make it at parties or get togethers and they're gone in no time. Yep. I can attest to that for sure. So it's called rain basically because you make a rain. Okay. So that tells us that the preheating is ready. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do it before so you can be ready for and now we're gonna put some cheese. That's where the. All right. So now we're ready for the cheese part. All right. Go okay. ahead. That's looking great. I love cheese, so I probably overdo it a little bit. I'm sure most people won't complain. I don't think so. Nothing wrong with that. Cheese on the side. Put it back up. This is the fun part. Which one? Put it together. Oh, okay. All, All right. right. So now we're just going to close it. So we're just going to get the dough and we're going to form a ring. All right. Then can I try one of these? All right. You can try anything you want. All right. So just go just around it. Okay. Yeah, just do you stretch it or just mm -hmm. just stretch it a little bit okay. and it's supposed to stay open a little bit all right you won't close it completely 
You can fold it underneath if you want. It's a great combination because the meat is a bit salty and then the croissant is sweet. So it's a great combination. I'll let you finish it off. It's looking pretty already. Okay, now you're gonna have to do a half to put it in the oven for 350, approximately 15 to 20 minutes. It depends on the on your oven. I just, after 15 minutes, I start checking it. The meat is already cooked, so all you're really needing to do is to cook the croissant. And when it's uh, golden brown, it's ready. So that's all you're checking. Make sure this is gets a golden brown color. That's it. All right, well, let's right. do that. All right, and we'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna put it in the oven. All right, so the total time was 20 minutes. We had to add five more minutes and every oven is different. So you want it to look just like what you're gonna see right now. We kept checking it until it was golden. All right. And Lady Fire is gonna show you a little trick here. So what do you do now? Um, actually, what I like to do, and this one actually did not have a lot of fat. Okay. So what I like doing is I will get some paper towels and get the fat out. But actually this one did not come up with a lot of fat, so that is great. And it's perfectly yellow, I love it. It smells great. great. I wish we had smell a vision so you I guys know. could smell it through the through the recording. All right, and, and what's the next step? Well, actually the next step is just wait until it cools off a little bit. Okay. And then we'll put it in the center, the layer dip right right there, smack center. Okay. And then you can cut it up and just enjoy it. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we let it cool off a little bit. Let it fire through some cilantro in there and push that in. And that's what it looks like. I'll get a little close up here of the work of art called the ring. And it's ready to eat. You cut it up, you start eating. We're actually gonna eat it as soon as the video's over. So guys, until next time, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you at the next cooking with Flat Cup and Lady Fire. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.